everyone, my name is Sammy and welcome to another base tour here on the Spicy server. This is a lightly modded server hosted by the wonderful Emily, aka Spicy Days, and I'm currently at my second base, which is here in a modded biome. It's a windswept desert. And uh, if you missed my tour of the world spawn base, be sure to go watch that too. But before we get started, I just want to turn and look over here to point these builds out really quickly. This my is like farm zone, there's like some auto villager crops going on in there, some pumpkin and melons, and then this pillar, which took so long to get to like how I wanted it to look. Oh my god, I was seeing pixel circles for days. It was horrible. <laughs> But yeah, those are just some side builds and um, yeah, I wanted to just point them out real quick before we move on to doo -doo -doo -doo, what is my first ever big build here in and Minecraft. <laughs> this was so overwhelming. I've been playing Minecraft for less than two years. So making something this big was a really big challenge and I admit it wasn't totally successful, but I learned a lot along the way and I especially discovered things like, you know, like my preferred scale, I guess, when it comes to larger buildings. This just seemed a little bit too big, but I did what I could and I'm here to show you the results. So we begin here in the dome entrance where we have a bunch of LA's living above us, humming away and hanging out with their crystals. <laughs> we also have the ominous hum of the beacon here. And in we go to the grand entranceway where we have this kind of chandelier made by these dripping vines. I can't remember what they're called, but I found them in a cave, <laughs> but it uh, acts very nicely as a decorative feature. We have a lovely pond in the middle here with a bunch of tropical fish and some jellyfish that always seem to be segregated from one another. I, I think they have beef. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but in the entranceway, we also have these fun little inlets with some cool like tools and some fun armor. And um, there's lots of like really unique collectibles to get from the mod packs we use, like these crazy Neptune armor <laughs> pieces, all this like King of the Sea gear, and uh, the lovely Amatrine as well, which um, also had a horse armor. I never got a horse in this series, but um, if I had, it could have been shiny and pink. How oh, nice. Now if we go towards the back, we have a good old storage system <laughs> place here. I would have loved to have made some kind of automatic storing system, but I just didn't have time in the end. So it's just a hell of a lot of chests. <laughs> and upstairs there's some even more storage space, as well as some all-important smelting stations. Plus this little seating area with this gorgeous purple umbran wood and you have a little view of the entranceway so you can look down upon people as they enter into the mansion. <laughs> now I'm sure you're probably already very overwhelmed by all of the quartz in this place. Uh, I guess I had some kind of color palettes going on with the pinks and the like teals and uh, whilst there wasn't really any like story to this build, the vibes were definitely some kind of vaporwave lounge. I'm not sure how successful I was at that, but having this small uh, color palette to work with really helped keep things together. And if we head back downstairs, we can go along to the bar area. Now, this was a room that I definitely struggled with. And I think that's evident by the uh, <laughs> wall of paintings and this random pixel art uh, heart here. But I'm definitely pleased with how things came out for this like brewing area. We have all these stations here and the storage for ingredients above. Um, oh, I thought I filled all these. Oh, well, 
Uh, I even managed to fit in some little planters on the side for the Neverwar and sort of did my best to keep those within the colour themes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun place to come get zooted on <laughs> some potions. <laughs> now, you might be able to hear some creeping skulk sensors because this wall of painting isn't just here to lack my to hide my lack of building skills, I should say. It's also a secret room. If I face plant into a painting here, we can enter into the portal room. Go ahead and place this door behind me. I kind of just had an urge to fill a room with skulk. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this seemed like a good place to put a portal to, so. We uh, have an escaped zombie pigman coming in here to check things out. Um, I also tucked away the enchanting into this corner. We are once again uh, loving and obsessed with the options for bookcases in this mod pack. Please, please vanilla Minecraft, I don't ever want to use a plain oak bookcase ever again. I need coloured bookcases, please. You agree! <laughs> but yeah, just this dark and spooky room full of skulk and mischief and magic. Leaving the bar, we can now go across the hall and into what's probably my favourite room of the build, and it's the everything room. <laughs> we have living, dining, and sleeping in here, so let's just uh, start over on the sides with these really cute wall planters. I love how these came out. They're filled with flowers and crystals, a lot of which were available from the mods we had here. And of course, you can sit and admire them from the cozy living room with one of my favorite little life hacks here in Minecraft, the fluffy coral rug. <laughs> I love making these, um, though it's always fun to call them fluffy when they're probably actually very painful if you were to roll around <laughs> onto those. We can head on over into the kitchen area. We have some like hidden storage underneath this breakfast bar looking area. We also have wonderful faux cabinets and some cake preparation going on. A double fridge, big American MTV crib style. <laughs> and as well as smokers and also some decorative shelves. Um, it's a shame we couldn't really put anything on those because of the carpet, but they look like shelves. <laughs> and on the other side here, we have the dining area with these amazing chairs. I love how grand they look. They're very, very pretty. And we also have some plates of food, I guess, some fun foods from our cooking mod. We've got tacos and sushi, even cups of tea. Uh, they're all very, very cute. It's adorable pixel art, but I wish we could place them down like we can with the cakes um, because they would just look so much cuter and having item frames everywhere like this. It looks a little bit goofy. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the bedroom balcony. I'm really pleased with how this like fancy bed came out. The colors of the woods that I use, they're really pretty together. And uh, yeah, it really helped bring this little section together to have the cute like pink and blue color scheme going on. It's a very tiny area but you know it's one of those purposeful areas and I yeah I think it came out pretty cute. Pretty cute all things considered. I mean there's only so much you can do with a bed in Minecraft <laughs> uh, but I enjoy what I did here. And well, that about wraps everything up here in this space. As I mentioned before, it was a huge project for me. This is the biggest build I've ever made. It sure was a struggle bus, but at the end of the day, it's here, it exists, and it's standing. <laughs> and I guess being able to call it somewhat complete is satisfying, even if it didn't quite meet my original uh, thoughts and visions. 
the concept of a vaporwave like build is something I'd love to revisit sometime in the future. So maybe when I have the world download for the spicy server, I can hop in on single player sometime, revisit this, make some tweaks. But yeah, until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye. I forgot I was in creative. <laughs> Whee!